San Luca, a city in Italy known as the stronghold of mafia group Ndrangheta. The police force there don't just arrest mafia criminals, but they also live among them. In San Luca police station, the faces of mafia catches are displayed like trophies. Mug shots of villains they've convicted, from henchmen to head honchos. Are these people dangerous? This is the top buffs. Are they yeah, dangerous? Sí. Carabinieri chief Michele Fiorentino and his small team know every detail of these criminals' lives. Here, they don't just arrest and drangheta mafia members, they also live among them. It pays a, um, the town has about 3,500 to 4,000 residents, many of whom have convictions for drug trafficking and mafia-related crimes, the chief says. The Andrangheta is one of the richest crime syndicates in the world, controlling 80% of Europe's cocaine trade. But it started here in Calabria, an area which remains its stronghold. So the commander's just told me a really interesting story about this road sign. You can see the bullet holes in it, and apparently every year on New Year's Eve, the mafia used to go up and shoot at it to show people that they controlled this area. If San Luca is the Andrangheta's back garden, nearby Platy is the heart of the home. The mafia controls the territory says Luigi Di Gioia, one of the officers on the front line of this fight. The bins bear the names of famous Ndrangheta families. We're deep in their territory, and I have a strong feeling we're being watched. I let the kids are back up there. They're watching more and more and more. The commander explains locals on mopeds are often used as mafia spies. In the heart of the village, he shows us an old mafia hideout. When police raided this property, they saw a henchman push a switch here, he says. Two fugitive bosses then ran through here, but then they disappeared. This is where they'd gone. Oh, wow, so this is the bunker. Behind a trapdoor in the steppe was a secret tunnel under the town. The bunker opening was small. One of the two escapees broke his shoulder and was unable to escape, the chief tells me. Italy's cracking down on the Andrangheta, putting hundreds of collaborators behind bars. But to beat them, they must free these communities from decades of control. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News, Italy.